This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Astronomers find evidence of a strange type star. Scientists have discovered a new type of star. They found a new star. It's two stars in one. It's twice the light and energy and twice of the fun. It's a TZO. It's TZO. 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 Yeah, it's got like a super red giant and a neutron star. It's like a shampoo and a conditioner. That's impossible. One has never been spotted for sure in the wild jungle of strange stellar objects out there. But astronomers now think they have finally found a theoretical cosmic curiosity. Yep, you guessed it. If you guessed a thorn zack tau object, tzio, tzio, or tzio, hiding in the neighboring small mage lanic cloud. Neutron stars are what happen to regular stars when regular stars eat spinach. They then turn into a smaller superstar made out of like a vibrating hypersilicate metal that sings awesome. Then when it gets bored, it's turned back into a, a regular star or a giant star. I made half that up just now. But it could be true. Who knows, you know? Scientists have discovered a new type of star. So I say thank you and finally. Or is it finally and thank you? I don't know. Oh, it's 7 in the morning. What am I doing up at 7 in the morning on a Sunday? I don't know, but I sure do love donuts and strawberry milk. It has nothing to do with stars. What it does have to do with stars is TZO. It's a brand new classification. It's a brand new type of star. Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Let him or her that have wisdom understand. There's a new classification of star. There's a new type of star. And I'm proud of science for admitting it. Great job, guys. And this is a special star. You get the most for your money out of this one because it's two for one deal you get two stars for one wait what kind of money do stars take do they take denaire dollars renminbi euros marks bitcoin world of warcraft gold first off this star is like a zillion billion light years away so you ain't gotta get worried heck no i would worry about world war three or the economy way before i'd worry about stars asterisk Astronomers find evidence of a strange type star. Stars are strange. When you're a stranger, faces look ugly. Come out of the Magellanic clouds. Women seem wicked. When you're unwanted, things are ready. And you're now, when you're strange, neutron stars come out of the rain. We are All right, let us walk through the doors of perception and learn about this brand new celestial type object. Brought to us by Jason Major on and around June 4th, 2014. Looking at a red supergiant type of star, modern professional science kind of likes to agree that there's a main sequencing of stars where it goes from like little to big and then it changes colors. Or it can go from big to big to little. And in this, red is one of them. It is the stoplight. It is the stoplight of stars. And stoplights are everywhere in our galaxy, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, thanks for coming. No, I'm just kidding. This video's not over. But thanks for coming. And I guess they assume that since the sun is red, the water stuff on the planet will be red. But along that thinking, like, what in the water on earth be yellow i mean maybe when the creatures or humans or whatever it is that lives on any planets out by that big bell goose you know uh, maybe they pee red but uh i doubt their swimming water's red who even knows what their eyes see with their perception of the light index <laughs> what do we call it the geomagnetic chlorophobic uh man science escapes me early on the sunday morning this is an illustration of red supergiant Betelgeuse, Betelgeuse as seen from a fictional orbiting world. Copyright Digital Drew. I wonder if he's friends with TV's Daniel. I'm telling you, the business of drawing fictional illustrations and making made up videos for real science is booming. Wow, and I haven't even gotten to the science part yet of this story. But can you blame me? It takes two of my favorite subjects, Brown slash 
brown slash red dwarf stars and neutron stars and literally combines them into one. Don't worry, we will get to the science next. Catherine is next on cue. We'll go straight to the heart of the matter. Stay tuned for part two. I think it's called Stars Are a Lot Like Fruits and Vegetables. Asterisk. And then part three is going to be called Orion is a Total Badass. But put TZO in front of everything, you know. So you can keep it consistent on what the series is. It's a TZO. TZO series. TZO. T-Zo. T-Zo. All right. Peace.